for the general public, masks simply are not needed. Obviously, uh, now is not the time to panic. Try to stay calm. No need to panic. Unfortunately, it's a little hard to do that when you hear. The fact that it spread so quick and so violently, you knew it was something wrong. The thought of a pandemic is kind of unfathomable and scary. I'm scared. I'm worried that, you know, my brother's going to come home and I'm going to end up getting it. Last week, 150 students from St. Francis Preparatory School in Queens, New York, stayed home sick with flu-like symptoms. Of them, eight were positively diagnosed with swine flu. Now, more than 40 students and teachers have been likely infected, and health officials expect that number to go even higher. We have a bunch more, a handful more of type A isolates that may be positive but have to be confirmed in Atlanta. Neighboring hospitals have seen an influx of worried patients. Here at the Long Island Jewish Medical Center in Queens, they've seen about 200 patients all displaying flu-like symptoms, all in connection to that school, St. Francis Prep. Uh, it's been three days since I was sick. Emmanuel Sugatin was part of the original wave of students who fell ill. I first had the cough. Later on, later the day, at the day I had flu, then stomach aches. Then I couldn't basically walk. He feels better now, but he's still in the process of getting tested to see if he's infected with swine flu. Dr. Farber says so far, most cases are like Sugatins, not serious. In the patients that we've seen, they have rapidly recovered within 72 hours. Most of them want to go back to school. Uh, no one has become progressively ill. And as I said, what's remarkable is how well they've done. So the best thing you can do to protect yourself? sanitation, cover your cough, wash your hands often, especially when traveling. Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press, New York.